Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Another quick video, another quick update of what is going on with the 1JZ Vivid Ti in the 240. As you guys know, in the previous video, she's alive, she's healthy, she's nice and strong, and she can't wait until go out to the track or the street to beat the shit out of anything. <laughs> you know? So um, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I have done new to her, and let's get it started. First of all, I wanna show you guys what I did with the inner cooler. Um, last time, it was that uh, we had the, the CX Racing bracket here, and um, I, I find, I mean, I felt a little that that bracket, those brackets were a little too fragile. You know, the inner cooler was swinging around. I didn't really like that, so I went to Home Depot. And I've got this sink plated thingy, you know, it's nice. It's very solid, you know, um, nice and strong. I bolted on onto the factory. This is where is the horn used to see. Okay, so I took out the horn, I put it here, and then I bolted on place. I put two bolts in the back, one and two. Very nice. I love how it looks like. It's solid. You know, you don't want your inner coolers to start swinging around. You know, it have a little bit of play, but it's normal. You know, because the piping and shit. But um, it is what it is. Um, another thing is, I modify. I grind out the the, the crush wire a little bit because the inner cooler. I mean, yeah, to to make an inner cooler sit. I didn't want to really spend another two hundred bucks on the bash bar. You know, we just crash wire does the same thing. So, you guys know. I seen ugly stuff when people doesn't run a crash bar or a bash bar, you know. Anything could happen in the street, man. So you gotta you gotta keep it as safe as possible, you know. And you don't wanna keep like you don't wanna have things damaging your stuff, you know. So it is what it is. Um, okay. I got this Gwedi blown valve. It's very nice. I like the blue. It's very nice came with this hose you know it's good oh guys um remember that uh, the oil catch can I hooked it up right here nice and tight so easy access I just spin it and anytime I take it out and I clean it easy I don't want to put it somewhere that I couldn't access this you know I think you gotta clean it every 2,000 miles or some shit you know but I don't know we see what's up um, I got this from Home Depot. Nice. I got a Gretty electronic boost controller, and this is the uh, the solenoid. You know, I got this all this housing connected to the compressor and also the uh, actuator. Yes. Yeah, no. Um, I hooked it up the downpipe. No, very nice. What else I have done? Oops. Oh, another thing that I want to really do is replace this hosing, man. Um, I think it's creating too much pressure. I don't know what it is, but I, there's a little leak here. So thing that I don't really like. I don't know why there's a leak in here, but yeah. And every time when the car is running, this thing is like blow it you know like i feel like this thing is gonna blow up if, if i put more pressure onto it so things i don't really want so i got this cx racing hard pipe that's going to here i probably if i'm gonna modify this thingy just to make it fit we'll figure out you know uh what else i did man i did all the gauges i connected all the gauges let me show you guys Okay, we, oh, we, we got the, there you go. We got the AM air and fuel ratio gauge. We got the Grady electronic boost controller. It's very nice, I love it. We got the uh, oil temperature, water temperature, and oil pressure. No? 
Oh, and also I installed that uh, the fire extinguisher. This is mandatory for every track event. For every event. No, it's nice and tight here. No. Uh, what else I have done? I ordered new seats. I ordered new Forza um, Corbu. Uh, what is this? The Cor the Corbu Forza One seats. Seats that I have before. I I like them, so I want to stick with it. I have some Body Club seat rails. I didn't want to go with the Nagisa again because they were. I think they were a little too high and they were a little too pricey. I find those for bucks twenty and Amazon. I think it's cheap. Well, for one, so you know. I think it's looking amazing. Everything is good. Uh oh! I installed the power steering cooler. No, everything was plug and play. Simple. I didn't did I didn't make a video, but it was really. It was really simple guys, you know. I clean out my trunk. I fix it the battery on the box. I still gotta put the bumper. I think I'm gonna put it today or something. But you know what I'm really gonna do? I wanna really wanna turn on the car to so show you guys how she's how she's how how she actually sound, you know, like man. It's a, it's a nice feeling. It's a very nice feeling. So, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> because she's cold. All right, let's go one more. All right, let's do one more. This happened when she's cold. She can go by herself now, she's good. So I installed the, uh, the fan controller here, you know, I hide it up right here. I still gotta, you know, organize this a little more, you know, everything is nice. Looking good. I wanna, I wanna get the Type X bumper, but that's just like 500 bucks, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna run my stock bumper for a little bit, you know? I've been just putting so much money into it lately, man, like, you know, it's crazy. So another thing that I want to clarify with you guys, um, I know a lot of people who are doing the swap or they're planning to do the swap, 
they're very worried about the fuel lines i'm gonna be honest to you after i put the downpipe on this heater here is not that big though look i'm gonna touch downpipe it is not that hot and the car is and the car is pretty warmed up you see the car is pretty warmed up i don't really want have to od on you know but make sure that you wrap your lines and also wrap your fuel lines this is big help though i mean uh yeah wrap the fuel lines and also you gotta heat wrap the the down pipe you see this is nice and cold here it's not even hot around here it feels nice touch the down pipe no problem um the turbo i, I believe is pretty hot you know because you know it produces a lot of heat but um actually and also i wanted to show you guys what i have done with the ecu so um this is the passenger side and um uh, i put the ecu right behind the carpet it's right here it fits perfectly doesn't bother anybody you know um uh, this is the uh, the fuses you know the dakota speedometer and the tachometer is right here as well the ignition switch is right here everything is behind the carpet you know where it's belong to um so yeah now i'm just gonna put this back on and make it looks flush and it's nice you see <laughs> Ta -da. This is it guys. She sounds really good. She sounds like a beast, you know. I really can't wait until I have her out on the street or on the track, you know. So, you know, I still got little things here to fix, a little here, a little there, but you know, hopefully we get it done before the 30th because I really want to be on E-Town, you know, ripping this car, you know, having fun with her, you know, doing all the stuff that I wanted to do with her. So, um, if you guys have any questions, just please don't hesitate to ask because, like I said, I soloed this. I did everything myself. You know, you guys been following me, and every video that I have, I have done is myself and the motor. You know, so basically, seriously, if you guys need help, any type of information, part number, anything, you guys let me know, and I will try my best to answer you guys, okay? So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, you know, and also don't forget, please follow and subscribe. My subscribers are going up. I started a few months ago, you know, I had nothing. I have up today around 350 and I think it's pretty good, you know. So, um, I love this build. I'm, I'm, I, have a, I have another project 
on my head. Oh, I'm looking into uh, maybe a 350Z or an FR chassis and put a 2J in there. But this, I don't know, it's depend. It's really depend. Um, you guys are my motivations. You know, all my subscribers, thank you. Thank you for all those likes. You know, you guys are my motivations. Um, that is what inspired me to this build. You know, otherwise, I'm serious. Otherwise, this won't happen. You know, um, I'm very glad. I'm very glad that you guys are happy with it. You know, um, because I am very pleased. Okay, I'm serious. I'm very pleased for the result that I have got. That's all I can tell you guys. So, again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know, and also don't forget to like and subscribe. More videos are coming, you know. Um, I swear, when I have this car out, I'm gonna make a video for you guys to see how it feels and to see how it actually perform on the street, okay? So, thank you guys for watching and you guys have a good day.